Hey guys, it's Ron. Hey, so a user asked uh, if I could uh, just show how to use the uh, uh, wireless features in uh, Packet Tracer. So here's what I've got. As you can see, there's just a 2621XM router, uh, a server hooked to that. So this is my simulated internet or what have it. Uh, I've got a uh, WRT300 uh, router going wirelessly to a tablet. Okay. So how did I get this to work? Uh, was it too difficult? So if you bring up the WRT300, because this is where mo the majority of the work is, um, you ha either can use the GUI like you would a normal uh, home router, or you can use the config like you're used to in Packet Tracer. I used the config. But uh, for internet, I did static IP. So I just did a static IP uh, to my uh, 2600 router. Uh, you could have the 2600 router do DHCP down to the uh, wireless router, and that would be that would be fine too. Uh, I just thought it was easier just for demonstration purposes. I only did a static IP. Uh, then on LAN, so this these are the addresses that you want to hand out to your users. Uh, so I just did the standard 192.168.0.1, 240. So you know I can have about 14 different users on here. On wireless. Uh, I set up my uh, SSID of just uh, YouTube. Uh, the request was for a WEP key, so I did WEP. Uh, they're looking for 10 hex keys here, so I just did uh, 1, 9, 2, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then alpha. Because we're talking hex, so you can do uh, 0 through 9, and then uh, alpha through Foxtrot. Uh, I could have done uh, any of the ones down here, but the request was for WEP, so that's what you got. All right, so once I had that set up, you know, I looked at the GUI and just made sure it transferred over what I had uh, put on the previous tab. At first, it didn't. It had something something different here. But after a save, uh, it pretty much ended up populating what I had put in here. But you could have done the whole thing here. Uh, those were my IPs to get to the 2600 router. This was my IPs that I dished out to my users. Uh, once you go under wireless, this is where I put my SSID in. Uh, I enabled uh, SSID broadcasts for security. I chose WEP, and that's the key, you know, that I put in. So nothing too difficult there. Then on the tablet, brought it up, did IP configuration. I set it up for DHCP. Uh, and then if you go under the config tab, uh, there's wireless. And so under wireless, this is where I put the same information: the SSID for YouTube. WEP, and this was the key. Uh, didn't end up changing anything, you know, over the rest of it. Uh, no settings here. This all just picked up DHCP anyway. Algorithm, I didn't change anything here either. Now, once I finally got everything uh, programmed, I went to command prompt. Did an IP config to make sure that I had pulled an IP. Now, it, it took quite a while for this to come up, but once it came up, I was able to uh, ping my gateway, so this was the wireless router. Then I went ahead and pinged the DNS server that I had set up. That worked. Uh, pinged the DNS entry that I added, google.com, no issue there. And then brought up the browser. Uh, and I'm getting to my, uh, uh, getting to the server. So that's pretty much it. Uh, so we did 2600 wireless router hanging off of that, uh, using SSID YouTube down to uh, the tablet, using WEP in between it. Uh, nothing too difficult. So if, uh, if you've never used the wireless feature, it's, it's uh, not too bad. Uh, this is my first time using it, but uh, you know, not too hard to configure. So hope that uh, helps, man. I uh, hope that was uh, what you were looking for. So thanks.